The vet? The vet. Your dog was healthy all year long, thanks to me. You had to at least know how to fight that. I mean, you had to have some kind of street in your life. And if you call yourself a tiger, we should be seeing some strikes. Ah! You bring an itch tech, I bag him right by his kidney. Now his shit attacks the cold word chemo, Erica. It's a wrap. You was drunk all year long, thanks to me. Oh, I can't get no sleep. Happy, Chapo, Hitler, Tunnel that, Pamela, Dolly, Nikki, Double Rack. And I show up, show up. Oh, Bill, you was able to call all your bald head friends all year long, thanks to me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We here. It's knowledge of God. Hip hop is real. And I'm calling this show Your Honor Gives His Judgment. We here with the one and only DMV Zone, Your Honor. How you feeling? DC Zone, man. I don't know nothing about the DMV. Oh, DC I, I, Zone. I, 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 uh, then, then I started it wrong. Like, they crazy. No, you that's no, you good. DC, when you guys come from DC, guys like myself automatically believe DC is a part of the DMV. In my mind. I mean, that's, that's understandable. <laughs> And, and, you know, please clear it up for us who's out of, you know, touch with the understanding of the DMV and the D.C. thing since we started if, right here. <laughs> I, I, I guess. OK, so New York, if you if the nigga from Harlem and they say, oh, we got New York's own. I don't know. Like, it, it, I'm trying to figure out a way to I don't really know New York like that. But like if you're from yeah. Brooklyn. And they say, "Oh, we got nigga, we got New York's so own." He gonna be like, "I ain't from New York. I'm from Brooklyn or something." Or he gonna, or that's not how I go. I mean, there, there, there's some Brooklyn niggas that's that's like Brooklyn is like nigga, it's his own world. So I get that. I get. There that. we go. Nigga, just like that. Brooklyn, we, nigga, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, nah, yeah. I don't. That's we just don't know nothing about that. That never was a thing where we from. We don't never say no DMV. That's for M and V. That's for Maryland and Virginia. Say that. We don't even say. We never say no shit like that. We don't even so, know what so that is. If it's M and V, then what the what's the D represent? I mean, it's, yeah, it's D.C. for sure, because we surrounded okay, okay, by Maryland okay. and Virginia. <laughs> so I, I get it, but that's for the rest of the world. We don't we don't follow that shit, and I don't rep that shit. I, I'm, we don't include it. Like, okay, so growing up, being from Maryland or Virginia was a negative. It wasn't a positive thing. It's a negative. You call, If you're from Maryland, you called a measly. That means a Maryland lame. Cause, and if you're from Virginia, we, the same thing, because that, that means they lame, because... Our interactions with them is always under those pretenses that they was lame. When we go to the go-go's out there or go out there with the bitches, because the only time we really spent time in Maryland, Virginia was the bitches, because they always had better bitches than ours. Because Maryland, Virginia ain't hood. Now, it's hoods everywhere, but just in generally speaking, Maryland and Virginia ain't hood. Of course, Newport News is and motherfucking law and blah, 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 blah. But like... In, in in a nutshell, it's not hood. DC is hood. It's always hood. Always have nice. been. Not now. Not nowadays. Nowadays is actually really nice. It's million dollar homes uptown. And it's gentrified. But like at a time when we was coming up, it was only hood. It would never know. So if you from DC, it was guaranteed to be a hood because it was no nice parts. Like so, that's why I think we look at it like that. Because being called a Maryland nigga is, is a disrespect. It's a slander to one of us. It's how we wow. disrespect each other, nigga. You a measly? You a Maryland nigga? That's how we disrespect one another. Where I'm from. So when other people say it, sometimes I always just be like, no, 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 it's DMV. Just because I'm still of that cloth, but <laughs> you know, you don't mean nothing by it. You just simply include, you know, saying what you know to say. So yeah, it ain't no harm. Yeah, talk. Now, yeah I, it ain't I, no harm. I, we just I, I, listen. I appreciate the education. I'll tell you that, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, not being from there, I, I didn't, I never do that. I didn't understand that, you know what I mean? Yeah, nah, we don't, nah, we don't do that. Fuck no, we don't say no DMV shit. <laughs> Fuck no. 
<laughs> what the, that's a slander, bro. That is a wow. you get beat. You get beat for calling nigga Maryland nigga, and he ain't for, like that's a like that's a, a you know what I wow. mean. That's something. That's something you use to degrade him. You acting like a Maryland. Oh, we'll say you acting like if it's our homie, we even say that our homie. You acting like a Maryland nigga. You know what I'm saying? Now shout out to Maryland niggas. Don't disrespect the Maryland or Virginia niggas, but I'm just saying. But our upbringing with them, they was always kind of um, you know. Let me let me ask you this though. So in terms of battle rap, right? How you feel about the DMV movement then, you know what I'm saying? Because they're, you know, yeah. I feel like that, that like, you know, we had the Midwest movement, you know what I'm saying? The Philly, yeah. you know, all these different movements and the DMV movement became, you know, what we seen with drugs and, you know what I mean? Like uh, Jack, yeah. uh, Jack Boy and then, you know, Ace and all the guys coming out Cuban and, you know, people would consider you a part of the DMV movement. Like, so, you know, as far as outside looking mm. at, what do you? Mm. What's your thoughts on just the DMV movement? Or where you, when you were coming up and you're seeing here in this DMV movement thing, where did you consider or put yourself in when you look at this? I think that uh, well, I got that's a good question. I got a couple different answers. Number one, they mostly from Maryland. It's not a slander to the rest of them niggas. Like to be called to be for the DMV and you from Maryland isn't a bad thing. To be from Virginia and be included in the DMV ain't a bad thing. To the rest of them is normal. Why wouldn't they claim DMV? If it, you know what I mean, they don't they don't view it like that. I'm just speaking for a DC nigga. We gotcha. don't associate with no Maryland and Virginia niggas, not to the degree where we the DMV. We don't say nothing like that. We would rather so. And, and number two, that's why I came in saying the district. That's why I made it. That's why I came in literally with the slogan. I'm from the district. I li I wanted to separate myself from whatever thing they had going on. I ain't. That's why I ain't joined none of them. I wasn't. I'm not from that. I ain't a part of that. I ain't. I, you know what I'm saying? I was wow. a first round draft pick. You know, I came out the gates hot. I, I was a first First round draft pick with all of these groups. I chose Dama. I could have been anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I no, nah, I couldn't be no, nah, I couldn't be no part of that. We ain't, I don't know nothing about that. But shout out to wow. them because they from Maryland and Virginia. So if it, it works, it fits them. They from that. I ain't from Maryland or Virginia. We from DC and we don't associate it like that. We don't, I don't, it ain't I'm trying to be clear here because shouts out to Maryland and Virginia. You know, we it's good men everywhere. You know, streets everywhere. Course, we fuck with, course. you know what I'm saying? We fuck with, most of my best partners is from Maryland. I'm grown now. So, you, but I'm just speaking on how we came up and, 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 you know, what it means to us to be from D.C. Because we got overlooked too many times. We get overlooked for Maryland, for Virginia. We get, we, our shit go right over. They, they got Kevin Durant. They got Wale, Maryland. Mar like, I, we get overlooked being from dc anyway so it means more to like stand alone as dc we when we merge with if we merge d dc with maryland virginia we lose in the end we lose because they get all the clout from dc real work but we don't get wow. none of the but we don't get none of the celebratory status from from none of them from Vernon Davis, from Vontae Davis, from from uh, I about to say Derrick Rose, uh, motherfucker Dave Chappelle, you know they that he Silver Spring Maryland, they Maryland. All we got is earthquake. That's all we Wait, got but, is earthquake. But, but but isn't Kevin Durant, Dave Chappelle, Wale? Don't they represent DC? I think obviously I'm trying to answer two questions because I think in the mainstream, from the mainstream's perspective, yes. But from a DC perspective, no. From DC, from a DC perspective, no. Kevin Durant is from Maryland. He's from Pete Prince George's County or something. Right? From from um the celebrity status, he from the DMV or whatever, you know what I'm saying? They, however they group it. I'm trying to speak for them and for ourselves, but I don't I know how they tr try to do it sometimes. But yeah. From from a DC perspective, no. Wale is from Maryland. Shout out to Wale. He ain't a measly. He he not a slandered Maryland. What we would call, you know, no, no, no. But technic, but he is from Maryland, though. It, it, according to what I was, uh, uh know and, and what they used to say in school and shit. You know, yeah. rumors. You know how it go with the rumors and shit like that. But like, we got Shy Glizzy. We got Fat Trail. You know what I'm saying? And, and and they Maryland and Virginia got way more like on that on that tip artistry and celebrity and athlete so that so grouping us with them it only it only hurts us bro because we got all the actual street shit we got all the street we got ray for Edmonds. we got all the street cats we got all of the real real ghetto hood shit yeah. and 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 i think a lot of them get to the piggyback off that off the work of dc but we don't get none of the motherfucking shit from it we don't get no new rec centers we don't get no new housing we don't get no they still got the motherfucking monkey grease on the bars and shit we don't get no new construction we don't we don't benefit being being a part of them we ain't that's why we ain't a part of them we our own shit bro 
DC man. Shout out to the DMV movement though. They and oh, and by the way, the movement was fire. Of course, I mean, you know, it was fire. D Danger Zone, Ty Law, all it was putting in work. It, um, they 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 brought spotlight to the area, and 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 I would dare say that's part of the reason I got on because they it, the spotlight was here, and once you got the spotlight in the area, now they like, oh shit, who is that nigga on? They would have never checked for me. You know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, um. The nigga, what's his name? Venom. Shout out to Venom. He had Norbs coming down here, getting everybody PGs and shit. Ralphie Gabana getting all them PGs. Ty Law was fucking with it. Danger Zone was a part of it. Uh, drugs, twerk, ride the whole goonies and shit. You know, they definitely bring the light even here for a nigga like me to even get up on you already. You know what I'm okay. saying? So that's why I'm answering with three different questions. I'm answering from a battle no, no, perspective, no, no, no. from a, from a battle rap perspective, from a like mainstream celebrity perspective, and then from the hood perspective. From the hood perspective, nah, fuck all them. But from the battle rap perspective, man, thank I thank them. And from the yeah. celebrity status, fuck them too. You know what I'm saying? Oh. But from a yeah, but battle rap, I thank them because they bring the light down here for us. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Um you know, I appreciate that, Anna. I, I'm going I'm to start off by saying, man, um, knowing you throughout the years, I feel like, you you know, interviewing you, you are like one of the most honest dudes in battle rap culture. You, 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 you talk yeah. from the cuff. You know what I mean? You're one of the guys, you say how you feel. You stand on how yeah. you feel. You don't really yeah. give a fuck. Like, you know, you, 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 and you, you down, like, like you, sometimes my, somebody, somebody say you, you, you honest to a fault. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, and and I've noticed that as well when I read the comments. And when I first got in the game, one of the things drugs told me. Shout out to drugs, free drugs. One of the things he told me, the first thing he told me was, "Don't read the comments, Honor. Never, just don't read the comments, bro." But I can't help it. I want to know what they think about my lines. I want to know what they think about the rhymes. And like five years later, you know, I've been in the game five years. Five years later, since Swamp. I, I finally kind of understand why he said that. It's because none of them are going to be talking about the raps. Ain't none yeah. of them going to be talking about the raps. I'm here to hear what you thought about those these lines and these bars and thinking they're going to review it and recap these lines. They're going to say everything else but the raps. That's why he was saying, I've just now figured it out. You said don't read the comments because they ain't going to be talking about the shit you think they're going to be talking about. They're going to be talking about what's the shit on his door and what's on his roof. They're going to be talking about why is his stern wheel in the head in the way you see why i turned it around thinking what they gonna say like why yeah. and, and, and and it's gotten to me over the years it, it got to me my actual now i'll be like actually thinking of my image towards them when i never used to thought of that i'm solid right. and solidifying who i am i know exactly who i be and my yeah. city know me too you know what i'm saying but now i'll be actually thinking let me let me uh cut my nails before i go up there let me make sure my, let me clean the bottom of my nails let me like and shit, I would never have thought about, and that's and that's because he was right. They, the comments over time has gotten to me, and I do believe it's at fault because some things there's some things that just I guess it's hard to believe when you when you when you're a real nigga and you just saying it out loud. Like just so, like for instance, I just had an interview with Three Letter Man, so I said to three, and the comments is getting on me in the in the interview about saying about they believe I'm pretending not to know who Moneybag Yo is. They believe I'm pretending not to know him. I don't know why. Don't know what that would do me for. But that's what they they under the impression. Oh, now how you don't know money bag yo? And you and you did his beat for your chest dish and shit like like that. And and I see where the honesty hurts me because sometimes they it just don't look believable. And I get it. And I be getting it sometimes. But they just they don't. They don't. They don't know how to pay attention. I'm not here to answer that. I'm just saying it was. It was yeah, prevalent. Yeah. It just happened. But I was like, "But how you gonna make me know a nigga? I don't know, bro." Yeah. How the fuck y'all don't keep up with these young niggas? It's a new rapper yeah. every day. I yeah, can't keep up with them if they ain't in my top ten. I don't know them niggas. Like they gonna make you know a nigga. Like, come on, bro. That well, should be. Well, he 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 recently used uh uh. Something uh, the lines from the battle you did with Luke Castro on his project, all right? Correct. So that I mean, I can understand why they like nigga. You how nigga, nigga know you? How do like nigga know you? You your shit on his shit. How you know? You know what I mean? So I can understand. He don't. He don't know me. He know. He know the 
the TikTok clip or, or just the sound bite of it. I'm more than sure. I know for a fact he ain't watched the damn battle. I know that for a fact. He ain't got the app. He did not watch the battle. It went so viral. It's, it, he could have got it from anywhere. Shade Room, yeah. bunch of TikTokers, bunch of remixes. He could have. It could have came from anywhere. It didn't come from Castro. They're not watching us. Like that's what they just say and shit. Okay. But no, he ain't see that shit. You think he saw that shit? No, nah, I doubt it. Hey, you never know. You know what I mean? He, he probably didn't even do that. Shirt. That was the engineer. The engineers did that shit. The producer did that. Thought it would be tight. He didn't even do that. Like, they, they be just so lost. They so, I forgot what it's like to be regular sometimes. I, during my little stint in the URL, I learned so much. Met so many yeah. celebrities and met so many celebrities and just learned so much of how I go. I forgot what it's like to be like regular and how we used to think when I was regular too i used to be thinking that too you know so i sometimes i um I, I i forgive them because they're regular they don't they would never understand till they become something then they'll start to get it type shit yeah of course. so sometimes i gotta remember that yeah it's easy to forget and, that though and, and, and you know um you know being a public figure and walking through the things you've walked through being an artist of course somebody who's just watching it'll never really understand until you walk these walks it's, a, it's hard to actually have a perception. Like, people are talking about Jay-Z or people are talking about entertainers, yo, Illuminati or whatever the case may be or what people yeah. have to do. You know what I'm saying? And it's easy to judge without ever having to put that work in or deal with these people or, or fight Correct. the sharks. You know what I'm saying? Or deal with these entities or trying to become a billionaire or whatever. So you don't know what it takes, so it's very easy to judge. It's easy Correct. to be like... For, for somebody to judge his success. Oh, your honor must have sold out since he got the bread or whatever the case. It's very easy because, you know, until, the only time you understand is when you put yourself in a position to be a boss, to own something, to run something, to pay people. That's the only time you and, really have and that's that the key, perspective. That's the key word, knowledge. A boss of something is the key word. Something. Because I be telling them, if you just did anything in life, you'll be able to compartmentalize the perspective of the thing you're talking about. Exactly. If you just you just got to do something, and then yeah. you'll be able to be like, like, I just play flag football. And from that flag football, I can be like, damn, Justin Jefferson is really good. Just yeah. from my, I ain't got to be in the NFL. Yeah. I just play my, so I play softball every week. I go play softball, and I know yeah. what Matt, Ryan, Matt Aaron's going through, and I like you can just compartmentalize other people's situation and multiply it by 10 if you exactly. just did anything. I own exactly. two vending machines during the pandemic and I and then I can understand URL's business model and a lot better just from owning those. I get in there now I kind of get it. That's what I be saying to them too. I be telling the fans that too. I'm like, bro, if you just do a little more with your life, so a lot of these questions are answered them themselves, bro. I agree. Yeah, for I sure. Agree. That's the key word, a boss of something, just anything. Exactly. And you'll understand. Mm -hmm. Even for myself, you know, being in business over 10 years, having guys work for me and things of that nature, a lot of things now, looking back, like I had to change my ways of thinking like, yeah, nah, like certain things are how I might look at somebody who who's done things a certain, I don't put that level of, pre I don't put that level of uh, judgment on them anymore or whatever. Yeah. I'm like, yo, I got to deal with certain shit. And like, okay, it's not as easy as y'all think. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's easy you just take your situation more. and multiply it by 10 for his situation. Exactly. exactly. Right. Exactly. Like, yeah, I might be dealing with a hundred, a few hundred thousand, but they dealing with millions. Like, they, they should, this should come with a different level of pressure and energy, dog. Like, yep. That's why um, if they if they just did anything, you'll be able to understand a little better about the things you complain about in life and other people and other celebrities. If you just did a little more with your life, you'll be able to under explain it for yourself. Just just multiply it by twenty. Yeah. Uh, let, let me ask you this. I want to go back a little bit to something you said. You 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 had yeah. uh, you know you had shown some love to drugs earlier. You said free drugs, salute to yeah. Um. You know, he's been out of the game for over a year. You know what I'm saying? Like, where he hasn't battled and things like that. He has his... Whatever situation he has, it's never been like, you know, we don't know his situation with uh, the Goonies or Twerk or, you know, Ace or anything like that because it's not really... I've asked these questions, but I can tell it's something beyond battle rap, so I kind of left it alone. But um, yeah. you see him in the forefront as far as, like, him in, in a crazy case. He ended up shooting somebody and everything like that. Mm -hmm. It's just going crazy and everything like that. Um, you know, I don't know what your relationship is with like drugs and things like that, but um, and you you being from that area, I, you know, I just wanted to know: is there like any updates or anything like how how you feel about the situation? Have you been in contact with them? Just just for the fans who might just be wondering. 
for sure. Uh, he got his hearing tomorrow, actually. He got a hearing tomorrow. Uh, it don't look good. Uh, the nigga he got into it with looks to be um, a measly. So, therefore, he going to be pressing charges, testifying, doing all the, uh, the wow. extra stuff. So, it, it don't look good in that sense. Um, I just found all this out yesterday, actually, as I was looking up this shit, trying to figure out when it's hearing and what time. It's in Fairfax, about an hour from me. So, that ain't bad. Um and so it, it don't look good. The situation don't look good. He is a convicted felon already, and they found a bunch of guns in his house, uh, you know, plus the fire and the shooting that he did do. He didn't, nobody was struck. Nobody got hit. So that, you know, that's better. Okay, so, but, so um, he didn't actually shoot the person? I thought, like, it said he, he shot at him. No, he shot at him. Yeah, he dumped he at him for at sure. Him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He tried to punish him, but he didn't hit one shot. Yeah. But he ain't hit one clip. So that's, I mean, that's just, a, that makes it better that there is no victim here. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, but it just don't look good just on the, the fact that that's Commonwealth in Virginia. You know, everyone who's anybody in the streets, I don't give a where you from. You could be from the streets of Nigeria. You know how Virginia play. And bam. Uh, 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 well, get updating you. How does Virginia play? I'm like, just for, you know, the ignorant ones out there who really don't know. You know what I mean? How does Virginia play? How serious is this situation? Virginia is Commonwealth. Okay. That mean that, that mean. Anything that threatens the monopoly of their domination is going to be scrutinized heavily. So, so major, so majority of Virginia is nice, uh, positive atmosphere, rich. They don't, they don't get into the criminal underworld. They don't, you know what I mean? We bring a lot of our shit out there. When, when they was gentrifying DC, a lot of people got vouchers to go live in Virginia while they gentrified DC. And from there, we took pretty much our criminal underworld out to virginia and they tax for it they tax heavy for it. so virginia is just one of the worst places to commit a crime in america virginia wow. well, uh, new, new, shit, new york you know new york gotta be up there yeah. too now, yeah i'm about to say new york gotta be but up there know, too new but york, new york be so crazy you know they they, they uh release on recognizance a lot of shit that be going on in new york they kind of be letting a lot you know i don't want to you know I, I haven't been in the system that heavy, but it's so crowded i feel like sometimes new york you could slip through the cracks oh okay okay you know? Oh, okay. Okay. Well, Virginia, yeah, no, you don't want to get caught in Virginia doing nothing stupid because they, they go straight for the max on everything. Ain't no this, ain't no this, that, and the wrist. Ain't no slaps on the wrist. They go straight for the max. You steal something wow. for a hundred. Yeah, they, 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 they don't, they don't play. They, they one of those. And, um, and it's very, very racist, uh, um, state, by the way, as well. Raised on old racist laws, you know they was in the slave heavy. Yeah, so those laws still haven't been abolished. They they still under the racist pretense, so it's even worse for a black man in there. Drugs is, has a good light skin that might could help him in that courtroom, but um, <laughs> unfortunately, with you know with you his tattoos and his hairstyle, sh man, oh man. So uh, and, we'll and, see, and, but. And you said he's already a convicted felon before. Yeah, yeah, he so, he already yeah. got convicted felon for, for um for shit back in his past, and so you know you can't get caught with guns, period, as a felon, let alone you know discharging them. And he had at least seven, and not eight in his house when they uh, went through his house. He had um you know drugs. I mean, hence the name. He, he always kept those um. So it, it just don't look good in, at all, you know. Uh, I would say it, for for the fans, if you're wondering, oh, if you just had to give us amount of years he's likely to get, it's it look like a lamb, maybe twelve of them things strong. Are you serious? You know, double digits? And he didn't. It looked like, and he ain't hit nobody. It looks like it though, because again, the dude that he that, that was that was a part of it. I don't know, but just bro, he kind of he give he look a little. A little measly in terms of he gonna comply and follow all the law and rules. And he ain't gonna just nah fuck that shit. He ain't gonna really do that. So yeah. uh, a lot of I'm going off of speculation along with some of the yeah. facts, but I'm but I'm speculating it. it I, but it don't it don't look good at all for him. Have you spoken to him at all? Yeah, yeah, I spoke to him. How's he doing? Like he I ain't good. You know he ain't. Yeah, he ain't good spirits. Yeah, that's all you could be out there, but he ain't, you know, he's street, so jail ain't gonna, you know, jail ain't gonna be an issue for him. He ain't gonna be traumatized every day. He gonna be up with the cool kids, well, know you, you know kids. what I'm saying? I know you got kids, I know you got family, so being away from your children, like, I, like that long, the 11, I mean, even for me, being away from my kids three days is like, oh my God, I'm, I gotta get home type shit. So I can imagine, like, shit, that's a long time if, if, if that is the situation. Um, 
I'm just again speculating on 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 one of the worst of possibilities, just because I know how just because I know how Virginia play. Now anybody can get luck. God can bring His hand down for anybody, and you know what I'm saying. But just off, if I just got to move off paperwork and logic with the state that he's in, and use of Roy versus Commonwealth Virginia, yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm, I will. I will put my chips on um a bit of a fry. This gonna be a bit of a fry right here. But um, I mean, just off the convicted felon with guns. Yeah, that's I, I think that's yeah, I think that's gonna be six just off that alone. You know what I'm saying? Let alone firing it, let alone, you know, whooping the nigga the assault. You know, you whooped them first. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if you just they they and they stack all that up, they don't give a fuck about no concurrent. They don't no, they stack all that shit up individually type shit. Like they want it's one of them. Like, I don't know, but I um uh, I, I'm not going to have more information on this. I'll be a thing tomorrow and then shit, but I'm not going to have more information on this. My, my battle rapper really don't give a fuck. All they did was clown him and tease him when it happened, so I ain't going to have no more information on this regardless. Damn, yo. But but you, you said he is in good spirits, though. Yeah, because, I mean, you yeah, again, like, you know, president in jail, it ain't, it ain't, he, he going to be with the cool kids. He going to be... You know, he may not be tank boss, but he, you know, he gonna be over there. He gonna have his motion. You know what I'm saying? He he, he know how to survive in those environments. So, cause that's all I think about. You know, jail ain't for everybody. Prison ain't for everybody either. You know, I mean, and um, it could be a harsh time for a lot of people, but for most people, or at least most of the tough street cats, they end up finding they groove. You know what I mean? They be all right. So he'll be all right in that in that sense. Um, is is. As far as like you know, damn, I, he he sat for so long. As far as like on on battle rap time, like when when you chopped it up with him, is he still like into the culture? Or was he like yo fuck this shit, like fuck the culture? I ain't fuck get a chance. We ain't get okay, okay. that. Not, yeah, that topic ain't even come up. Got you. He's dealing with yeah, my bad. Yeah, yeah the weenie. Yeah, I, I wouldn't even like. But prior to that situation, where was his mindset in battle rap? If you if you were in contact with him, like was he still into the culture, like, or was he like, man, I'm this shit for the birds right now. I'm chilling. It's funny because when he first called me, before he got arrested, he called me. My daughter was being born, but we had spoke a little bit after that. I was in the hospital. I couldn't talk to him. She was literally coming out when he called me, and he was on the run at that time. So that's probably what he was trying to tell me or shit. But um. When I first got to battle rap, he was one of the ones I was close with because we was from the same area and he was already in it. So he could give me the ins and outs from the PG process and shit like gotcha. that. And then and then a little bit into battle rap, we kind of fell off. We got into it. You know how battle rap go. It, but, you know, people put people together. Ace and that. I mean, not Ace, my bad. Um, the Goonies and shit. When he was doing that stuff, he kind of, you know, ooh, we had our little moments and things like that. So we fell back a little bit. But. When he called me, it showed me, oh, we was all good and shit. So that's my guy and all. But um, at the same time, you know, we ain't, you know what I mean? I don't. Got you. I, I got you. You know what I'm saying? That's my guy, though, for sure. And and when he called me, it made me know, oh, okay, that is my dude. Because, you know, he kind of was showing me the ropes, he, especially early on. Come in there. He was doing him and Bear Witness. So I said to Bear Witness, he's another battler from PG, or DMV, whatever, DMV movement. And, um, yeah, they were showing me, he was showing me big ropes. I said, I mean, that advice be hang, uh, carrying me to this day, bro, for real. Definitely. Uh, well, but I don't you know, know his battle rap status. I, I don't know his battle rap status. I, it, last I was under the impression he was a bit black, blackballed due to the, the power of twerk and, and, and the goonies and shit like that. Yeah, he was a yeah. bit, yeah, la, la, that's the last impression I got. And I don't even think that came from him. That was when I spoke to somebody else on the, on the Amtrak. Uh, yeah. Shouts out to bro. You know you is. Shouts out to Brody. Uh, we took the Amtrak home, and he was telling me, he was explaining it all to me. Um, that was the last I, I kind of heard, but. Mm. Well, you know, if you do see him or chop it up, just, you know, let him know I said what up. You know, prayers out to him. Hopefully everything, you know, he can get back to his family as soon as possible, you know? For sure.